as the Musk turns. So surprisingly, last week, we learned uh, Elon Musk purchased 9.2% uh, of Twitter. So he's the biggest shareholder now of Twitter. Uh, Twitter CEO, who since uh, taking uh, the helm, has very much turned up the heat on censorship, on these you know warnings. This tweet might make you more uncomfortable before you click. Uh, Elon Musk uh, not only took that big share in Twitter, but was named to the board of Twitter. And as part of being named to the board of Twitter, uh, the condition was that he could never buy up the majority of Twitter shares, meaning you could be on our board, but you can't take over Twitter. Well, days <laughs> after that announcement, Elon Musk is not on the board of Twitter anymore. Uh, I'll read a little bit from uh, the New York Times here. Twitter, Twitter grapples with an Elon Musk problem. Uh, bright and early on Monday, Elon Musk sent the government a surprising new document. In it, the world's wealthiest man laid out his possible intentions towards Twitter, in which he has amassed a 9.2% stake, underlining how drastically his position has changed from a week ago. Mr. Musk could, if he chose, buy more shares of Twitter and increase his ownership of the company, according to the document, which was filed with the SEC. He could freely express his views about Twitter on social media or other channels, the document noted, and he reserved the right to, quote, change his plans at any time as he deems appropriate. Oh, boy. It was a promise or perhaps it was a threat. Either way, the filing encapsulated the treacherous situation that Twitter now finds itself in. Mr. Musk, 50, Twitter's largest shareholder and one of its high profile users could very well use the social media platform against itself and even buy enough shares to take over the company. Quote, Twitter has always suffered more than its fair share of dysfunction, said Jason Goldman, who was on the founding team and served on its board of directors. But at least we weren't being actively trolled by prospective board members using the, pro using the product we created. The filing followed a week of high stakes drama between the billionaire and the company. Last Monday, Twitter revealed that Mr. Musk had accumulated stock now worth more than $3 billion in the company. A day later, he was invited onto Twitter's 11-person board and agreed to not own more than 14.9% of the company or take it over. Then on Sunday, Twitter abruptly said all of those bets were off and that Mr. Musk would not become a director. So I, I don't like to look into things too much, but this tweet, I think, is illuminating. I don't know who Tank is, Tank TDS, but he wrote, let me break this down for you. Elon became largest shareholder for free speech. Elon was told to play nice and not speak freely. Elon Musk liked that tweet. Uh, <laughs> that was in response to uh, Twitter CEO basically giving a, a nonsensical explanation of why he was on the board one minute and off the board the next minute. Uh, Elon Musk, by the way, deleted a bunch of tweets that after his name to the board, uh, he was criticizing Twitter. Now, it pains me very much to kind of say something nice about Elon Musk because he's a creep and a union buster and you think that conditions are bad at Amazon, wait till you hear about what's going on at Tesla factories uh, and the uh, safety concerns with some of these tech, a lot of these Teslas that have been uh, called back. But at the very least, he's better than the current, C the current leadership of Twitter, which is basically doing the bidding of government and corporations to basically censor anti-capitalists, anti-war, uh, anti-imperialism, uh, and a whole lot of other things in between. At least if he took over Twitter, it would be good on that end. But let's not fool ourselves. If there was ever a general strike <laughs> or something economic, you bet an Elon Musk-led Twitter would start suppressing in the algorithm and fa not uh, uh, favoring uh, criticism of those economic protests or progressive candidates or whatever, and uh, definitely, definitely burying uh, that criticism. But what's your take on this? Because it seems to me Elon Musk is not, it's not even subtle. Seems like he wants to do a hostile takeover of Twitter. I'm down. I mean, I, I you're right. It's tough to compliment Eli Musk because he's a bastard on so many levels. But, you know, keep him away from government. I don't want him anywhere near uh, economic matters. I don't want him anywhere near anything that has to do with the environment. I don't want him near any of that. But if you want to take over social media and like eradicate the guardrails, I'm down, man. I mean, <laughs> that's, that was the heyday of Facebook back when we didn't have to worry 
about being shut down by algorithms. I'm I'm cool with that, dude. Buy up Facebook as well, man. I mean, like seriously, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, you know, I mean, this is the one area where his kind of ethos um, isn't the worst thing ever. In fact, I support it. I mean, this is where a civil libertarian on the left can find some common ground, and it's just that big of common ground, but it's still common ground nonetheless. I'm all for it, man. Let him take over that place because they are a freaking cesspool of neoliberal thought control. I, I, I can't stand it. Cannot well, stand it. I don't know. I don't know how fiercely I disagree with you, but I disagree slightly only because of the statement. As long as Go he's kept, as long as he's kept away from the government, Twitter is the government. Facebook is okay. the government. So yes. they, they have an army of lobbyists that are doing the same as big pharma, big oil, Wall Street, and they're getting favorable treatment from the government so that they're not regulated. And they are handsomely rewarding politicians. By the way, Chuck Schumer receives the most money from Facebook. His daughter used either does work there or used to work there. So do I think Elon Musk is going to take over Twitter? And yeah, maybe he'll reinstate Trump and, you know, we'll be less censorial uh, uh, or, but do I think he's necessarily going to totally make it a free, uh, free speech zone for like us and, you know, populist economic talk, union momentum, let's say Amazon and Starbucks union drives become Walmart which is the biggest company in America or become you think Elon Musk leading Twitter is going to be all for free speech on that and ele uh, push uh, clips to go, you know, make sure Twitter's algorithm allows uh, things to go totally viral organically from Walmart strikes, Walmart union drives. Hell no. And Elon I'm Musk is going to Elon Musk, who, by the way, became wealthy on government subsidies, Mr. Anti-government. Uh, mm -hmm. He's going to be pushing uh, for for further deregulation of social media from the government officials he buys off to. <laughs> Just on the off chance that he actually eats his own dog food, right? I, I, my thoughts are that ultimately that if he is a real libertarian that he sells himself as, that this free speech thing should be a no brainer. So if he does do that, that's eh, one of the very few times he and I will agree. Uh, but. Chances are it will be fucked because you're exactly correct. The government has had its hand right up in there as a fucking sock puppet. And these tools are used to collect data on us, as we've already seen through Facebook. And, and over the years, we've seen how they've used it against activists and they've used it against organizers in general. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a risk, uh, but it's at some level, man, it just it's so. Uh, I mean, seriously, isn't it soul sucking to have everything you put out there, all the media you create to be like just tamped down and blocked and muted and and not being able to get the reach you feel you deserve after all the work you've put in? I think so. So yeah. to that extent, that's the one thing. That's the one thing, man. I'm just I'm throwing up one thing. I, I mean, I hate the guy. Let me just be I hate the guy, but I'm going to give him one prop that it it's got to be better. Can it be worse? You know, that's the thing I'm saying. I can't, I can't imagine it being worse. I mean, for real, like the neoliberals that that want to push the January 6th uh, thing, the way that they went about that on one level, you're like, OK, I kind of pick what picking up what you're putting down. But on the other hand, it's like completely myopic, because what if the left decided that it wanted to do something right now? You've created this situation where the only choice we have is to bow and pay homage to a neoliberal government that cracks down on activists in general. And that's the yin and the yang of free speech and freedom of expression and freedom of, you know, whatever the fuck you want to call it. What is it? Freedom of association, etc. I mean, once they start cracking down on that, it, it goes both ways. And so in this one case, I got to tip my hat. I, I, I would trust Elon Musk owning Twitter more than I do the current people that are doing it now. Uh, I'm probably going to get crucified for that, but that's the truth. I probably give him more credit than the people now. Uh, I'm going to have to sleep on this. We might have to revisit this. Uh, but <laughs> okay. what I do trust, what I do trust, spammed. Uh, Elon Musk is 100% going to try and take a, take over Twitter 100%. Uh, right. so he could basically, you know, be a phony free speech guy. Cause a lot of these people, again, you're not for free speech. If you're for suppressing folks Agreed. that can affect your bottom line. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in to status coups daily live stream Monday through Thursday at 5 o'clock Eastern Time and Fridays at 4 o'clock Eastern Time.